Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and we're going to talk about the Base 10 Place Value Frame. You can see that I have it sitting here. It's divided into ones, tens, and hundreds. And there are the manipulatives that represent hundreds. There are rods that represent the tens. And then there are individual units that represent the ones. So for simple counting and addition and subtraction, it really helps students to understand a concept that's difficult like borrowing. So if you have the number 42 as represented here in 10, 20, 30, 42, and you ask the student to subtract a number like 13, well, if they try to take a 10, they don't have three ones. The only way to do that is to take this 10 and to trade it in for 10 ones. So if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to take that. Now that I have these, I'm going to go ahead, see how many. If I go ahead and take the ones that I just traded for my ten and put them in the ones column, the foam is so easy to work with, so durable and so quiet. So you can see all right, when I place these this way, what I have is 42, but represented as 30 and 10 and 2 left over. So now, in order to subtract 13, if I take away a 10 and I take away 1, 2, 3, what I'm left with is 10, 20, 9. So the answer to 42 take away 13 is 29. These fun manipulatives, you know, just the simple design of the place value frame, it's going to help your students be able to really visualize and tactily move around the pieces so that they understand what's happening when they work with numbers up to 100.